our EE-475 final project is titled Validation of GhostNet Lightweight Convolutional Neural Network on Safar 10. The slides and important source codes will be uploaded as PDF. This video presentation will be divided into three parts, background, experimental verification, and summary. Firstly, let's begin with the first part, background and principle. While browsing through the CVPR papers, I came across a paper entitled GhostNet, More Features from Cheap Operations. It proposes a novel design for lightweight convolutional neural networks. In this project, we would read this paper, implement a part of the theory, and conclude with a summary. We find that the redundancy in feature maps, ghost feature maps, intrinsic feature maps, a series of linear transformations, ghost module, ghost bottlenecks, ghost net are some of the important theories in the paper. The first important theory is the redundancy of feature maps. There exist many similar pairs of feature maps. The output feature maps of convolutional layers often contain much redundancy, and some of them could be similar to each other, as shown in figure 1. The second theory is ghost feature maps and intrinsic feature maps. Given the intrinsic feature maps from the first part, a series of simple linear operations are then applied for generating more feature maps. Then, we know that intrinsic feature maps execute linear operations to get ghost feature maps. The third theory is linear transformations and cheap operations. Linear operations are convolutions such as 3 times 3 or 5 times 5. The last theory is ghost module, ghost bottlenecks and ghost net. As shown in the figure, ghost module is divided into two operations to obtain the same number of feature maps as the normal convolution. The ghost bottleneck structure is similar to ResNet, like MobileNet V2 does not use the ReLU activation function after the second module. The ghost net structure is similar to MobileNet V3 and uses the SE structure. As shown in the diagram on the right, where hash exp indicates the number of gmodule output feature maps for the first gnet. In the second part, we'll introduce the experimental verification. This part of the training paper mentions VGG16, ghost VGG16 models. On Safar 10, the plug and play experiment of Ghost Module is performed on VGG 16. This is done by replacing all the convolutions in it with Ghost Module for VGG 16 and naming it Ghost VGG 16. The structure is relatively clear, divided into five steps data, model, loss function, optimizer, iterative training. The code is provided on the next page. Running the model, we distribute the graphs comparing each of them. The first one is the loss function. The second one is the accuracy comparison. The third one is the training confusion matrix comparison. The last one is the valid confusion matrix comparison. We can find that there is no significant decrease in accuracy after using GhostNet, which is consistent with the paper. For the other part of the experiment, we calculate weights and flops. With the help of the TorchStat library, we calculated the weights and flops. After using Ghost, weights and flops basically dropped to half of their original size, which is basically in line with the paper. The code is provided on the next page. Let's conclude with a summary. In this project, we have read the paper GhostNet, more features from cheap operations to understand and implement the GhostNet optimization approach for CNNs. By comparing the experimental results, the addition of GhostNet has less impact on the accuracy while optimizing the operations. We know that the primary CONV in Ghost module is exactly the same as the original convolution, but the only difference is that the channel-by-channel -channel convolution of the cheap CONV will change half of the feature map, so whether we can find the proper channel-by-channel -channel convolution kernel to make this half of the feature map as much as possible the same as the feature map obtained from the original convolution we can achieve the plug and play without training. In the future, we would like to implement an algorithm that allows the ghost module to output the same feature map as the original convolution. And then we can achieve plug and play without training. Thank you for your listening.